Hey, this is Ashley from GetMomStrong.com. Uh, guess what? Resistance bands today. Uh, if you guys have been following along, you know that I think resistance bands are the best thing since sliced abs. Um, no, seriously. Ever since I've had my diastasis recti, which is a split of the abs, um, I have used these daily. So. Anyway, this band right here is just an extra light band. It came in a pack of like six, and this is the lightest resistance, really easy to pull. All these exercises, you really don't need much resistance at all that I'm gonna show you today. So grab your band and let's get started. Gosh, dog hair, the struggle is real. Put your band around your feet, lay on your back. Legs straight up into the air. And then you're going to inhale, fill that belly with some air. Exhale, pretend you're bringing your spine, your belly button all the way down to your spine and you pull. You're gonna hold it for a second or two with that resistance. So again, it's a nice slow movement. You're really working on holding it in that position where your belly button is going down and in and your pelvic floor is coming up. All right, while well, you're still down in the same position, you are going to put your feet straight up, legs straight up. This is a really small movement. Oh my God, my dog keeps walking in front of us. It's like I don't have the kids here, but the dog still comes. Um, very small movement. Leg out, almost like a little flutter kick. And the resistance comes from holding your leg that's not pulling tight and straight. You are pulling against your own self. That makes sense. You do not want to do big movements on this. You will um, cause more damage to your abs than you will cause good. If you go all the way down, your belly will probably dome if you have a diastasis, unless you have really learned to engage it. And besides, you don't really need it to get the effectiveness of this exercise. It's just a small, small movement. Way harder than it looks. Actually, super hard. So this exercise, I'm using the light band, but um, you do have the ability with this one to go and use a thicker band if you want um, a little more strenuous resistance. Wrap one around your ankle, one around the bottom of your foot. You're activating that glute as you push up. You are also activating your innermost abs, which actually wrap all the way around your back. And this will help to flatten your stomach and tone your butt, which is a total win-win. Slides. This one really is good for flattening that stomach and toning your butt. I love exercise movements that are compound and work more than one thing. And this will do it. That's what I'm gonna show you today. You're gonna put it around your wrist. This one you're gonna be like, this doesn't do anything, oh my God. And you're gonna do it and you're gonna be like, oh my God, it totally does. So it looks like nothing and it really works these uh, top part of your abs, which is great if you have a diastasis that starts up higher, which I did, so, and do. All right, so, and you're also activating your glutes. Let me scooch back. You 
can mix this one up a little bit if you want to hit your obliques, which are your side abs. Lift up, pull to the side. 